welcome to this Windows channel and this is a tips and tricks video. Uh, many weeks ago I had a tips and tricks video on sticky notes which lets you basically have little post-its on your screen with you know little things that you'd like to do, uh, tasks that you want to uh, remember. Well I'm gonna have another tips and tricks uh, today about the voice recorder. Sometimes you don't like to type but you'd like to leave little you know, notes, vocal notes, or maybe just um, record something, uh, record somebody talking. You know what? In Windows 10, there's the voice recorder. It's included in Windows 10. You can uh, actually, the voice recorder is included in all versions of Windows since I think Windows 95. It goes really, really far back. So in Windows 10, all you have to do is either go to Cortana and type voice, and you'll have voice recorder show up a trusted Windows App Store, or you can go into the uh, Start menu, All Apps, and if you go into the letter V, you will see Voice Recorder. Voice Recorder is very easy to use. Basically, all you have to do is click the microphone, the blue um, circle with the microphone to record, and as soon as the microphone is there, it's recording, it's working, and all you have to do is you know, talk and that's it. Once it's over, the same circle, you just click and it stops the recording. Now, something went wrong for me and it's normal because I am actually already using the microphone with the recorder for the screen recorder, so don't worry, it works fine. Um, once you've done that, well, all you can do is uh, save the recordings. By the way, all the recordings are listed, so you see here the list of recordings that will be done. Uh, there's an auto save. If you um, want, you can also click on the bottom. You have, uh, so let's take uh, one recording here. When you click, you have the share button. So on the bottom right, you have share. You can share it with through mail, through messaging, and any app that's compatible with the sharing. You can click here to trim the, the recording. So if there's something wrong, you can say, oh, I don't want to have all of it. I want to just have this much of it and then you click the little check mark and you can update the original copy or save a different copy very often it's better to save a different copy and keep the original in case and uh, so you can of course also give it a name so say this is the test recording 2 and press enter and it's going to have its name test recording 2 now say that you get out of the app. Where are the recordings? Very simple. Since immediately after you use the, the voice recorder for the first time, you go in documents, you'll see a folder called sound recordings. And here it has the names that you gave out. They are in M4A format, which is pretty much a universal format. So you can click and play you can play the recording and so on. Um, you, it, it recorded even though I had a problem, which is normal by the way because I am recording, like I said, I am recording with a voice recorder with the screen recorder. So two, you know, two apps using the microphone at the same time causes a little problem, but it does work very well. So voice recorder, nice little app. And one little note, if you have problems, the microphone doesn't work, you don't have any sound, Two things to check for. First of all, right click on your uh, speaker icon, go in recording devices, make sure that the microphone that you use is actually on and working. Uh, there's also lots of things that you can do. You can have properties for the sound levels, so you can make sure that you can listen and check out the levels to make sure it's correct. Another thing to check for in the privacy settings. So if you go into the notifications, all settings, if you go into the privacy settings, there's a microphone privacy setting. Make sure that let apps use microphone is on and make sure that the voice recorder is also on to make sure that it works. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, problems, anything you want to know, uh, let us know. We'll try to post a video if we can. By subscribing, you'll know when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. Thank you for following us on the channel.